while this feels premature and it feels like this shouldn't be happening the way that it is, everything happens exactly the way it's supposed to and everything happens in divine timing. It was all good just a week ago, right? As of a couple days ago, I lived with my boyfriend. We were literally planning our lives. I thought this would be so much easier. But it's hard to talk about something that you haven't really accepted. I really don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't really know what to say right now. I really don't. I really don't know what to say. And there's just no words. So good. We were happy. We were in love. The day before our move-in day, he decided he didn't want to move in anymore or be in a relationship. The day before our move-in day. The day before our move-in day. There's just no words. Like, I'm really single right now. This is really happening. Well, this is where we are. Which is also why I wanted to come make this video a get ready with me so that I can start where I am, get to where I'm going. And it can be a transformation because that's what this is gonna be. This whole thing is about to transform me and my life. So right now, I can honestly say I feel some sort of gratitude that this isn't much worse. I could be devastated, as many people would be. This is a devastating situation. I don't want to downplay that in any way. I'm grateful that I'm able to bounce back. I'm able to be self-sufficient, that I'm able to have friends that support me, that I'm able to have family I can call on. Um, I'm able to just have a strong enough mindset to understand life and the shit that comes with it. So this video really comes from a place of gratefulness and gratitude and a sense of freedom and hopefulness. And I'm saying this just to be very clear that this video is in no way malicious or an intent to be petty or angry or any of those things, because I'm not. I just wanna make that very clear. I'm not. In the beginning, when it first happened, I honestly thought I would be. I thought I would be angry, I had all these plans, things I was gonna do and, and things I was gonna say and whatever else, you know, shit that crossed my mind while it was happening. But honestly, right now, I'm not gonna say I see everything clearly because I don't, I don't at all. I don't see a lot clearly. There's still a lot I don't understand. But a lot of that anger and resentment that I thought I would have just doesn't seem to matter anymore. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Being mad and angry is not gonna get me where I need to go. And that's on, period. I know that the things I want are possible. And I know that there are people that are curious and that want these things too. Those things being divine connections, peace of mind, feeling like You just understand life and feeling like you understand yourself in a bigger sense, in a deeper sense than what we're taught. Feeling like, like you understand your existence better than we're taught to understand our existence. Because even right now through this whole corona thing, people are freaking out because they can't exist in an artificial world that was created for them to exist in. They don't even realize that they were born into a different world where none of these things existed. Your job didn't exist, you know? That, that didn't exist, somebody created that. 
So when you realize that you can't live without going to these places and going to do these things that aren't real and how hard that is to detach from, I think it calls to look within, right? And think about what that means and why it's so hard. Because we're just taught to live a certain kind of existence, but it doesn't really align with our true nature. And I think a lot of people feel that which is why people are so stressed out, people are so anxious, people are depressed, people just can't seem to get right. Because this way of living is not, it's not, it's just not, <laughs> it's just not. So I think the sooner more people can realize that they can try to find a way to exist in this world that doesn't feel like a heavy weight all the time. So that's what I'm seeking and that's what I will be you know, sharing how I get there. Because I'm going to get there. I'm going. With or without y'all niggas. I'm going. So thank you for joining me on this journey. You know, whether you just came here to get the tea, that's fine. You know, I'd be here too. Cause you know what they say? Like, oh, um, it might be tea to, to you, but to me it's a testimony. Right? That's a word. That's the word. Shout out to whoever made that meme. Probably a black woman. So shout out to you, black woman. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, it's also Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to my mother and all the other mothers out there that are doing their thing, holding down the family. Shout out to y'all. Okay, see how I'm nice little blend blend. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyways, so, what happened? What the fuck? What the fuck happened? Well, bitch, that's what I want to know. What happened? It was all good just a week ago. Right? If you follow me on social media, right, you know I've been posting about moving into my new place, me and baby moving in. I don't know what color couch I want to get. And, oh, my gosh, we have to get all this stuff. We haven't packed yet. Oh, my goodness. You know, just living the life. Looking forward to progression, my new apartment, moving in with my man. We about to do it big. We had a nice, you know, two-story townhome little loft on top two bedroom but living it up living it the fuck up and then honey we 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 just wasn't we just not we just not okay so moving day is friday let's say today is wednesday right Wednesday, two days before Friday. Boom. This is where we are. Me and him were in the middle, or what I'm thinking is the end of a two-day argument that, in my opinion, went way too far, right? And it wasn't even an argument. It was like a debate. It was an opinion thing that we just couldn't agree on. Anyways. It went on for two days because it just got dragged and dragged and dragged. So I'm thinking, you know, just an argument. We just not on the same page. We just not on good terms. Shit happens. This is what we do in relationships. We have fights. We get over them. We work through them, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. I'm just like, Bro, we don't have to do this. We don't have to fight about this. We can just talk about it, whatever. We try to talk about it. That didn't work. It didn't work. We kept fighting. We kept fighting, we kept fighting, we kept fighting. Let's fast forward to Thursday now. We wake up, we're still fighting. We're still fighting about this thing that is not that serious. I, I can't emphasize to you how much it's not that serious.
It's just not that serious. It's just not. But you know what? I'm not going to get caught up on that. Because it's not that serious. So, it's Thursday. Day before moving day. And we're still fighting. He goes to work. We're talking on the phone. Back and forth. You know, like, do you want to do this? Because we fighting for three days about something that's crazy like this is this don't make no sense right he basically like nah i don't want to do this so i'm like how you don't want to do this we move it into a place tomorrow right But yeah, so he, 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 he like, yeah, he don't want to do this. That's how he feeling. He about to go look for apartments, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Bet. So he's out looking for apartments. I'm devastated. Devastated. I'm like, how could he do this? It's the day before. He want to break up about this nonsense. And he knows what's going on. Like, we've been in a relationship for two years, y'all. Please don't judge my nails. Y'all know what's going on out here. We've been in a relationship for two years. And he wants to break up over a petty fight the day before we move into an apartment. So, we're still talking back and forth. At this point, I guess I'm basically asking, like, yo, I don't know if you serious or not. But I can't, I, like, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to break up. I don't think it's that serious, you know? Can we figure it out? So my, my next step is like, okay, could we be roommates? And then we just try to figure out what we're going to do next, save up, do what we got to do, break the lease if we need to. But our moving day is tomorrow. Can we work something out? Can we work something out? Hmm? The response I'm met with is that in order for us to work something out and be roommates, we need to set terms um, for this place and how we're going to do things. So I'm like, nigga, we've lived in the same house for two years now. I think we know how we live. And I think that we're amicable enough to set those terms once we get there, don't you think? Like, don't you think? Are we complete strangers now? Because, like, he was just acting mad brand new. Like, oh, dude, like, he just didn't. Like, he's just like, well, I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm like, okay, fine. Let's just set these terms. The, the, nigga, the nigga sits me on the phone for a whole 30 minutes to an hour discussing terms, how he like what he wants what he don't want having me state what i want what i don't want I, 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 okay cool done boom so at the end of the term setting he like i don't know man i don't know about this i don't know about this so i'm like what don't you know about what is there not to know about anymore i, I thought you just said you wanted to set terms it was good to go like what what is it, what don't you know I was like, bro, look, if you don't know, that I don't know. We don't need to do this. I'm not about to go into a situation with you where we live in the same house. You acting, like, real indecisive about the situation. Like, you have something hanging on the line. Like, it just seemed very sketchy to me why this will be such a hard decision for him to make. Like, why is it so easy for you to just up and decide you're not moving into this place that we both have invested everything in? What do you have going on? that I don't know about. How is this so easy for you? How is this still a decision to be made? Because right now I don't have any other decision. I don't have any other options. So this is my decision, you know? So that was when it was official. We're not moving in together. We're just not. I don't even know what to say. Cause I really don't know how to feel. When I say it, it's, when I say it, it sounds so small. It sounds like what? Like, like it, it sounds so small. But happening in real time, 